Okay, in the first part of this question, we've got a trigonometric equation. We're trying to show that it's a hidden quadratic in tan squared. Um, so somehow we've got to get rid of the sine and the cos in this equation. First thing I would recommend when you have this sort of equation is well, we don't really want to be dividing by tan x, so let's multiply through by it. So sine x tan x minus cos x tan x is going to equal 6 cos x. Now, we can see in this part that we've got a minus 6 by itself, and if I minus 6 cos x over, I get a minus 6 cos x, so it's going to make sense to divide through by cos x, and I can do that, and then I'm going to get sine x over cos x tan x, and then the next expression, the cos x terms are going to cancel out when I divide by x, and this is also going to happen for the 6 cos x. Uh, sorry, that's gone. Um, and finally, we can use the fact that sine x cos x is identical to tan x. And we can write down that tan squared x minus tan x minus 6 equals 0 as required. Okay, brilliant. Part two. We've got to now solve this equation in the range 0 to 360. And part one's going to help us. Try and solve this as it is. It's going to be very awkward. Actually, the way you have to do it is to turn it into a hidden quadratic as has been done in part one. So let's use that. Okay. Okay, so now we can do a substitution and let u equal tan x. So it becomes u squared, because that's what tan squared x is. u squared minus u minus 6 equals 0. You can factorise this. It's going to be minus 3 and plus 2 to multiply to give minus 6 and add to give minus 1. So u equals 3 or minus 2. And that means that tan x equals 3 or minus 2. Okay, let's deal with one at a time. Tan x equals 3 implies that x equals the inverse of inverse tan of 3. We can work that out, but actually we need to know what the graph of tan x looks like to get all the solutions, because this only gives us one. So here's 90 degrees, and actually there will be another solution. So we've just basically found this one here. There will be another solution if we add 180 on, because that's the periodicity of tan x. So it's going to equal inverse tan 3. Let's just work out what that is, actually. Seventy one point five six five or seventy one point five six five plus one hundred and eighty. Okay, let's do the other one now. Inverse tan of minus two. That gives me minus 63.43. Okay, that's not going to be a valid solution. It's not in our range. But I can add 180 on. So I've just found out basically this one. I can add on to get that one. And there's going to be another one. It's just off the sort of screen. It's going to be over here. And that's still going to be within. Uh, that's going to be less than 360. So well, minus 63.43 plus 180, or minus 63.43 plus 360. And now I just need to write down all my answers. 
Um, I'm going to have to sort of maybe do it up here. Okay, x equals, typically we give our answer to three significant figures, so it's going to be 71.6 degrees. Now it's best not to round it too early, even though it won't, it won't actually matter here, we'll get away with it. But if I add 180 degrees, I'll get 252 degrees for two, uh, three significant figures. I've got my, let's just get inverse tan of minus two back. I've got 116 so 117 degrees. Or if I had add one more 180 on, that will give me this final one. Then I've got 297 degrees. And there we have it. You might say that you're rejecting this one. And all the other solutions will be outside the range. So as long as you've got these four, it's all good. You can substitute them back in and just check that this works, but I'm pretty confident here.